What's up everyone, Chris from Flow Steam Designs. You guys probably know me more for my laser and CNC router projects, but I also do a ton of metal fabrication. Toolant sent me over some of their drill bits to try out. This first set is their three piece, four flute step bits. You notice the packaging on these is pretty basic. The company told me that they're able to provide high quality tools at a lower price because they don't waste the money on fancy packaging. These look really nice and they range from 1 8 to 7 8 of an inch. They also sent over one of these four step bits. I've never used anything like this before, so we'll see how this goes. It has 3 8 5 16 quarter, and 7 30 second inch steps. Finally, they set over a set of their M35 twist drills. These range from 1 16 to 1 half inch. Again, these look really nice. Let's start with these. This first bit is quarter inch. I had planned to use the auto feed on my milling machine, but just discovered that it wasn't engaging properly. So I'm just doing this all manually. Next, I enlarge these holes to half inch. This is quarter inch steel plate and they don't seem to have a problem with it. I also tested a few other sizes off camera. Let's see how these step bits do. This first one goes up to three quarters of an inch. This is going to be part of a base for a stand I'm putting together for my propane forge. I needed five more holes. I took these up to seven eighths of an inch. This one didn't have a pilot hole to start, so it took a minute to get going. But once it gets to the steps, it really hogs out some metal fast. Once again, this is quarter inch plate. I've done this before with other cheaper step bits and snapped them in half. I was happy to see that these held up to the abuse with no problem. I jump back to the regular twist drills to make a few more 732nd holes. Once again, these took a second to get started. It probably would have been beneficial to use a pilot hole to start. Finally, I swapped over to the four step bit. Without a pilot hole, this took a bit of effort to get started. As soon as I hit the steps, it blew right through the material. I'll probably stick to using this to just enlarge holes or maybe with thinner sheet metal. So overall, these bits seem really nice. I've been using them for a few weeks on a number of projects and haven't had any issues. I'll put affiliate links on everything I used in the description. 
You'll get the same great price, but I'll get a small kickback from the company, which helps me out a lot. I really appreciate if you guys would share this video with your friends, like, and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos. Thank <laughs> you.